Ticket to Ride is an interesting tabletop game that has been digitized into a video game form. I show you guys how I play. I'm Zach Scott, and this is Quick Play. What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Ticket to Ride. This is a board game, a tabletop game initially, but it's been digitized recently into a video game and I'm going to be playing it. I've been playing a lot of board games that have turned into video games lately, both on my tablet and on the PC. Uh, the Epic Store, you know, you can use my creator code Zach Scott Games there. They have this game and, uh, you know, I got it when it was free. I, and so Ticket to Ride is a game, I, I, I don't traditionally play a lot of board games. But I happen to like what Ticket to Ride has to offer, and I've, I've been kind of playing it a lot behind the scenes, so I thought, hey, I'll do a quick play about this, show you guys what it's all about, at least from my point of view. And, uh, you know, I don't know too many advanced strategies. We're just going to be playing solo mode. Um, but basically, uh, here, let me switch it to one of the easier ones right there. Uh, yeah, basically, they sell a bunch of expansions. I think that's how they make their money, is, is they sell a bunch of different expansions uh, or different formats of this game. Uh, but we're just gonna do the base game, you know, see how that goes. We're gonna play, and uh, I'll try to explain it to you as quickly as I can. And I actually have the animations uh, sped up a lot, so maybe we can slow those down for a second. She gets to play first. Uh, let me see, can I slow down those animations really quick? Uh, yeah, let's let's go to super slow mode. There you go, there you go. <laughs> but basically, um, this game is all about making connecting cities together with trains and or you know paths you don't even have to really think about it as trains uh but it's trains <laughs> so uh they're pieces that you play that are trains so they're trains but basically the whole goal is to connect different cities together and what you do is you start off with these ticket cards so like this one's like new york to atlanta this one's seattle to los angeles this one's los angeles to miami now if you take a look um each of these paths require cards of different colors so like for example if i want to go from los angeles to el paso uh, I can play six black cards, or I can play, uh, the, the grays are basically any color you want, as long as they're the same color. Or I can play like three here and three here. So I can either make it in one trip or two trips, and by trips I mean turns. So one turn or two turn, if I want to connect Los Angeles to El Paso. And so if we're looking here at Los Angeles to Miami, uh, we'll, we'll get 20 points for this connection, but we gotta play like a six black, six green, two of whatever, and six red. And that's assuming that the computer player doesn't play in our way, you know, to block us. If she does, then I'd have to go around, like maybe instead of like she plays the green, well then suddenly I'm gonna go like red and then like a different path, like one or this one. The, the paths that are double, uh, in a game that's greater than two players, paths that are double uh, can be played on by multiple players. But since it's only a two-player game, we can only use one of these. And so, like, some of these paths are multiple choice. Like, you know, if I want to go from San Francisco to Salt Lake City, we're talking either orange or white. So, that's what it's looking like right now. Uh, so, let's go ahead and choose our paths. You know, um, I, I'm liking the idea. I could maybe do all of these, but I'm liking the idea of Los Angeles. You have to choose two. Los Angeles to Miami, because that's four big paths. Also, at the end of the game, end, end, end of the match, whoever has the longest path gets extra points. So that's one thing to think about. And then Seattle, Los, Seattle to Los Angeles, because we already have, we'll already have Los Angeles covered. And so Seattle to Los Angeles means that, you know, it's just another couple of paths. So, you know, we could either, we could take one, two, three, if I have the colors, or, you know, something like one, two, three, four, you know, it just, just depends on what colors I end up having. Uh, the strategy that I've been using, especially against Marg Lobot, is I'm gonna, first I'm gonna select these two and choose them. Is I've been trying to collect as many cards as possible before making moves. That way I have uh, different options. So when drawing cards, you know, like if you take a look, I I definitely want black, green, and red here, right? I might even want blue and orange or pink uh, for sure. So I could just choose colors from here, right? I could just go ahead and choose this red, knowing that I'll need to make a you know six red here. Or, uh, and that's really the only one. I'm not really even looking to connect blue or yellow. There's a three yellow here that could possibly be useful. Or if I get blocked, I might have to, I might have to take this yellow, that's six. But here's the thing, you can draw two of these train cards or one wild card. Um, and, or I can just draw two from the mystery deck, you know, the draw deck basically. And that will give me chances of getting wilds too. So draw one, two, I got two greens and that's good because I need six here. Now again, I'm not going for yellow, but I could go for you. I could go. I could draw these two yellows. I'm gonna draw two here. We got one black, one pink, 
That seems good to me. I don't know what Marge is going to be doing. I'm, I got a wild and a yellow. See, I couldn't have drawn... I could have chosen a yellow and a yellow, but I could have not chosen a yellow and a wild from this pile because of the fact that you can, if you draw a wild, you can only take one card. So, green and red. Uh, what else we got? We got another wild and a green. Okay, so she's playing up there. That leads me to believe that I may not encounter her at all, which could be good. Um, four, you know, we'll see what we get. Black is two, yellow three. I don't really need yellows. Black is three, green is five. I'm almost there for greens. I'm gonna keep drawing a little bit. I'm not ready to play yet. Okay. Orange and blue. Uh, orange could be a little useful, just depending on how it goes. Green. So I finally drew enough green. So, you know, if this were against a human player, you know, I might want to like try to. It looks like she's gonna try to connect this orange thing. I might want to just. I, I could technically play this. Use like three orange and three, or I'm sorry, two. Yeah, the three orange and three wild to play here, and possibly block her from making that connection. She would then have to either go black, blue, or you know, gray, red. You know, whatever, whatever to connect it. Uh, I have a feeling she's trying to make that orange connection. That's fine by me. Uh, what I'm going to do, and again, I can make this known because I don't think the computer player really cares. Uh, I'm making it known that I'm trying to take this lower path. And if you have it, like experience with what the different paths are, the different tracks are, then maybe you might, you might know, you might think, huh, is he trying to make a Los Angeles to Miami connection? I could really mess him up by connecting any two to Houston to New Orleans, you know. Who knows what is being thought of but here we go let's draw a couple more cards okay there we go i don't know what she's connecting black and orange so i have more orange uh when three wilds or four or something get up here then it just shuffles them all so you know i might want to go ahead and take the black that's pretty valuable and i'll draw one from here that's red now i can start using my wilds if i want it to but i'm okay right now yeah see i don't know what she's doing but whatever here we go I'm surprised she's not taking that orange card, so I, I thought, oh, man. She's all over the place. Now, here's the thing. When a player gets to, I think, three or less, then the game's, the next turn is over. Maybe it's two or less. Maybe it's four or less. I forget. But, um, let's just, here, I got another black. I have six. So I'm a little worried. Uh, but here, let's connect these. And then uh, I'm almost there for the red. I might end up using wilds on the red because we're, we're yeah, let's use two wilds on the red. That way we can make this connection. I can make this two connection here with any colors. It'd probably be uh, orange. So here we go. I, I should have used blue. Blues, I'm not, in, I'm not in play for blue. So I made that connection. That means I get 20 points right there for the Los Angeles to Miami connection. Now, you know, this is looking kind of dire. I, I might uh, use yellow here. I'm going to take the pink path unless she plays pink or green there. She's not. So I'm going to play pink. And then I just have to make one more connection. This is a pretty long path. You can see it goes all the way around the country right here. Uh, let me play a blue here because I don't plan on using any blue. But let me play instead. I have a one white. Let's play a white. There we go. I made that connection, right? So now I have 16 train pieces to play. So, do I? what do I want to do? Do I want to try to maybe make another connection? Now, this is where it gets kind of risky because I made my two connections already. I already have a pretty long train path. I could focus on uh, making a longer path, you know, because whoever has the longest path at the end gets points. I could focus on trying to obstruct her. I still think she's going to try to connect these two train pieces together. Uh, or I could focus on getting another ticket met. Now, if I choose to cho if I choose to look at the tickets, I have to take at least one. And so I could be putting my, setting myself up for a world of pain here. But let's see. Let's just see what it looks like. I could lose because of this. But let's look at the new tickets. Uh, we have Los Angeles to New York. What that would mean is I would need to connect the yellow uh, one, two, three, four more times, including a pink. That's risky. This one is almost perfect. San Francisco to Atlanta. Because I already have uh, San Francisco covered. See my yellow path. And all I would have to do to get to Atlanta is either play blue, orange, or yellow to get here, or pink and two more. So I could probably easily make that one. So I'm gonna take at least that one. Calgary to Phoenix doesn't seem worth it. I, I can make, actually I could probably do it. Ah, this is risky. Like do I make the bold move of trying to make two more connections? Now the reason why this one would be easy is because I it's three of my choice, four of my choice. And in fact, I might rather just take that than that, but I, you know what, let's take both. That's very risky. I think that I'm setting myself up for some pain here, but what if I'm not? What if I can actually do this? Let's draw some mystery cards. Black and black. 
Not my favorite. A wild and a white. Oh, so she made that orange that she was been wanting to make. So, uh, let's see what else we got. We got white and pink. Oh man, I gotta make it like soon. Let's go ahead and just use the wilds. We'll use two wilds here. There we go. Oh boy, so I made the connection. So that's one, uh, another ticket met. Now keep in mind, I gotta touch Calgary and Phoenix. To touch Phoenix, I gotta play three of my choice. She's about to, she has nine left. So three of my choice, and then four of my choice. Let's take uh, these. Darn it, I want the white. Okay, I got the white, good. Now hopefully she's just in the game right here. Okay, she didn't, thank goodness. Four here, I get one more turn to connect three, so this is good. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, so yeah, here we go, Th three. I'm gonna have to dip into my wilds, play the blue. I've made all the connections that I've said I would make. That's actually very, very, very uh, lucky of me. That was quite a risky move to take both, because we're almost out of pieces. She's now gonna end the turn. She only has two cars or less, so now is the last turn. So what do I do with my last turn? Well, I just kinda take a look. I just kinda take a look and see what I wanna do. I don't really know. I get one more turn, she gets one more turn, or one more turn. And so, you know, I only have a maximum of two pieces, so I just gotta play a path that has two. And so for me, uh, it looks like maybe just this is gonna be it. There we go. And then what she's gonna play, she's gonna do that one path there. So, there we go. I have a longer train than she has. Also, I got four tickets done. She only got two tickets done. So, my train points keep building. You know, the number of trains I play keep building. And here's the scoreboard right here. You see, if you play one train at a time, you get one point. Two trains at a time, two. Three, you get four. Four, you get seven. Five, you get 10. And five and six, you get 15. So, I had a lot of, I had a lot of sixes played. So, I got a lot of 15 points at a time. I also have the longest train path right here. Longest consecutive train path. So I won big time, 151 to 100. Awesome, right? There are other ways to play. Now, I'm gonna show you another way to play uh, that's gonna be, um, it's gonna put, it's gonna be, it's gonna put me at risk. Keep in mind I'm using one of the easier bots. Uh, this is gonna put me at risk a little bit because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna try to obstruct her as much as I can. May not work, might work just fine. So let me speed up, speed this up a little bit, just so that we have, uh, you know, faster gameplay. Now that you've seen everything that happens, um, San Francisco to Atlanta. That's about what we had before. Uh, that one. Okay, so this is really interesting. I don't really like any of these paths, but I'm gonna take this one because this is technically three paths, and I have a lot of choices. I can take this top pink, blue, uh, black or orange, or I can take black or orange, blue, green to get there. Um, and then this one is a little risky, but not really, because then I just have to make two more connections. This one, this one, and I have multiple colors to choose from. Uh, and then to get to here, yellow, and then one of my choice. So I'm gonna choose these two tickets to try to meet all of. I'm only gonna focus on these two and then obstructing her. So let me just take some cards. The animations are a little faster, I like that better. Uh, I don't really need yellow too bad, but I don't know. I, I prefer to take the wilds. I mean, not the wilds, but the mystery. All right, I don't know where she's going with that. As soon as I kind of figure out where she's going, I'm gonna try to start obstructing her. Um, oh, by the way, Oklahoma City, that's like not Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City is more like down here, just so you guys know. <laughs> if you're using this to learn geography. See, I, don't, I have no idea what she's gonna to try to connect. She might try to come up through red here to appear, I don't know. I'm gonna draw some more cards. I have some wilds now. Uh, I don't quite, here, let me draw one black because I know I need some blacks to make this. And then I could use some greens and yellows as well. There's one yellow, so I got that. Uh, pink would be useful too. So what I'm doing, so it looks like she's gonna try to connect these two, right? So I can play the blue. I don't really need to play blue. I do, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to focus on finishing my stuff first. So let me go with this. Is she gonna play yet? Let's do, uh, let's start the, with the black. And then uh, let me try to block her. In case she was gonna connect those two, that's just gonna be a hassle for her. And then I'm gonna play this. I don't quite have enough green. I'm gonna have to re really rely on the wilds here for this green. And then I made one connection. Now, uh, yeah, so she's gonna come try to come down here. I'm pretty certain of it. Um, so yeah, now it's gonna be a challenge because I need to make, I can make, oh, this is tough. This is really tough. 
Here, let me draw a couple more yellows. She's taking greens. So if we take a look, she's clearly trying to play this right here. She's gonna try to connect this. And then, um, so let me play the yellows, I guess. Like, here's one. I could play the other yellows here. This is so risky. Now, I gotta find a way to get to here. This is gonna be so tough. Either the whites or the oranges. Um, let me go ahead and play the blue just so I'm happy that I made this connection. Uh, whites or oranges? So I got an orange, I got a white, that's good. Yellow, red. Pink, pink. Yeah, so she's gonna try, she's gonna try to connect this to here, I think. So I could block her with the red, because I don't need red right now. She's still gonna try to play the greens, I know it. Uh, but I need to focus on me. I need to make this white connection, so I need two more wilds. I'm gonna draw one wild, and then another wild. Keep in mind, I get to draw so few cards when this happens. But I made my connections. Now I can just focus on messing her up. I would love to get the green going. I don't think I'm gonna get it in time. She's now made these two things touch. If I can if I can get the green in time, then that'll be great. I don't think I will. She's also drawing whites, it looks like. There's, she took the green. She's gonna play the green next. I don't have any way to block that green from happening. Uh, but it looks like she drew the whites. I don't know why. Yeah, she made the green connection. She might be trying to take this little rock path. I don't know. Uh, I could just block it, because that seems like a way that she might go. Oh, uh, she took this. Now, she has all the connections, so she wouldn't need... If she's going to if she's going to Portland, that's bad news. I could block her path to Portland there. She's either going to try to connect with the white or the blues. Let me draw the blues. I bet she's going to go for the white. Oh, she went with the orange instead. So she's still making her connections. I'm not really, I'm not really obstructing her as much as I would like to be obstructing her. And so... Really, you know, what have I done? I don't know. Let me draw some pinks. Okay, she... Oh, jeez. So she has... So, yeah. Basically, now... Here, I'll play this. I bet she has one of the longer train paths. I don't know for sure. So I made my connections. She has... She's played more trains than me. Like, the obstruction process didn't necessarily work. She's made that 11. But see how far she had to go around? And she made that one too. So she has higher points than me, unfortunately. Now, who has a longer train? She does. She won the game. The obstruction, I didn't know where she was going. I'm not super familiar with the cards. And so she ultimately ended up winning. So the obstruction uh, technique could work, you know, if you're really good at it or you have a great knowledge of where all the connections are. I don't. But I was kind of showing you what one what method you can do. Here's another method that I've learned, which is focus on your two cards and then just focus on your train. So if we take a look here, this looks like uh, these, like this connection's fine. These connections, I can make them all, but this, these two are gonna be, uh, I'm gonna make th these connections and then I'm gonna focus on making my train long. So I want maybe red to branch off there, then blue, uh, or then I want white. Uh, so red, blue, and white would be something I'm going for. So choose these cards, I'm gonna try to meet these. I'm gonna draw red, blue, and white and then wilds when they're not available. So, sure enough, they're not available. So I'm gonna focus on red, blue, and white. Try to get these paths going here. I don't really need pink, but I'm hoping to eventually draw pink. And then as soon as I start having something to play, which is gonna be tough, I do need a little more, a few more reds. Um, but let's see what we got here. Yeah, reds are going to be super important. As soon as I get, as soon as I have enough time to play a black, I'm going to do it. I just need four blacks. So she's playing there. That doesn't seem like it has anything to do with me. That's not going to be in my way. I'm still gunning for a black here. Okay, she's playing that. I'm gonna, I'm getting a little nervous. I'm gonna play this. I don't think she's coming this way, but I'm getting nervous. Is all I'm saying. So I'm gonna play this. Jeez Louise, I'm gonna play this. Oh no, I need the greens to make this connection. Oh my God, she's going crazy already. Um, so what's another way I can do this? I can play this to make it long, because I was wanting to do that anyway. Um, the blue's fine, I could really use 
Here's what I want to do. Well, wait. I need greens. I don't have greens. There's one. All right. I can make this. Here we go. That's going to be have to be it. And now, uh, you know, red, I don't think it's going to be viable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, orange. I have six oranges. So let me play orange right here. I'll play the two orange to make sure I make this connection. I'll play the blue and the pink. And like I said, I'm just going to focus on playing now. So here comes the blue. I need five blue. I need four pink. I need... Uh, so this is going to be really intriguing. Let me see if I can get a couple more colors going. Black is fine. I took a yellow and a wild. I'm going to play this yellow. I don't know if I'll be able to make a four connection, though. I'll be able to make the four connection. Look at this. So not only... This ends the turn. So she's going to have to play. And she played that to make her train longer. But look at my train path. It goes here, here, all the way down here. So basically, all I did was I focused on making my two connections and then making my train super long. So now, the the best thing I can, I can do to end my turn is play my final two cards. Uh, looks like this is a two path right here. So that makes my train two longer. And now take a look. Now she's... Now, she beat me, beating me in initial points. I made my two connections. I hope that my two connections are better than hers. But I know for sure I had the longest train. She had that. That's a nine point. That's not going to be as good. Eight point. No, she did not have very high value connections. So, but look how big my train is. I get a bunch of extra points for that. So, I definitely won that round. So, this is Ticket to Ride. You can play with more. I barely beat her. I, my first strategy was better, going for more tickets. But I wanted to show you the different types of strategies. I don't know what the heck that, what the heck is this? Oh, I guess I got an achievement. This game has ach achievements too. I don't really pay attention to them, but <laughs> I heard the sound just now. And then, you know, you can also play with multiple players. And so, um, let's, let's take a look at that. I don't know, you know, I'm probably gonna lose if I do this, but like, let's put one of each bot type in. And I think they're, they're just by difficulty. So let's go ahead and start. I don't expect to win this, but this is just going to show you how crazy it can get with so many players. So Los Angeles to New York, that's a big path. I don't really have anything in between to connect it either, so I don't really know. I don't like any of these cards to start off with. So what I want to do is I want to make uh, maybe a connection. These two should be relatively easy to, to connect. They're not worth a lot of points, so that's the main problem. And I'll probably have to pick up tickets along the way. But basically, I'm going to be drawing like a square here. I'm going to try to get over to here, try to get to here. I'm, I'm actually not, not a square, but a C shape. Because I don't really want to play in these like small... Anyway, you'll see. I'm going to choose these. It's not a lot of points, but it does set me up to get... Um, it does set me up pretty well to get uh, a long train. I'm going to need pink, probably. Um, maybe blue but the rest is like all kind of uh, up to me red red and yellow are probably essential so if i can get some yellow or reds then i'll grab them we're gonna see the other players maybe draw different cards and you know see what's going on it's my turn to draw again these these players all drew cards Yellow's good i don't see any reds no one's taking any of these cards from here now here's the thing that you see in when a lot of players play is that and this is something i never explained is that when you take the red, when you take the cards, you're taking them away from other players. So, especially in a, in a game with a lot of players. So I'm drawing this red card, right? I'm drawing another red card. Those are cards that the other players aren't gonna be able to get their hands on until I play them again. So that's kind of a cool feature, I think, about this. Um, so let me just draw some more wilds. You know, I'm kinda, I think I'm doing okay, but you never know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna keep going here. No one's taking blue. I don't really have any paths that call for blue. So I'm gonna keep drawing wilds here. I mean, I could. Oh man, someone took the path that I was wanting to take. So here's an example of like, okay, well now what do I do? Because I was wanting to take Salt Lake City to Calgary. I was wanting to connect it through Helena. And so now I can't go this way because this, well actually this it does work. So I could take blues now. Uh, but what I think I wanna do is Calgary to Winnipeg and then I wanna take it up to here through this blue. So I will take these blues and the red. 
Someone else is taking the blues now. Okay, that's something too. <clears throat> um, I need one more pink. I'm fine on yellows. I need one more red. Oh my gosh, they're, they're, okay, I really need whites. I wanna make sure to make this Calgary to Winnipeg, if possible, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and use the wild on the whites because I'm afraid someone's gonna bust out that white move. So here we go. Calgary to Win Winnipeg, I used my wild on it, but it's played, the connection's been made. Uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be tough to follow up with. My dog's barking. Okay, so now I wanna make this connection from Oklahoma City to Denver. Oh my gosh. Uh, so let's see. My dog, <laughs> I don't know, my dog's in the background going crazy. So I wanna make this connection from Winnipeg to Denver, I think, right? I think so. So, um, I mean, I'm sorry, Oklahoma City to, to uh, not Winnipeg, Oklahoma City to Denver. So I have, I, oh, I, I gotta draw a second card. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's looking more and more likely that I'll need orange. I don't have any orange. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to connect Calgary to everything, but I'll, I'll find a way, I hope to. Uh, let me draw one more card. I got a white. So I wanna connect Oklahoma City to Salt Lake City right here. Goodness. All right, let's take a look at what we can get because I gotta make a six connection as well. Let me play this. I just wanna make sure that's connected. It's gonna be so hard. Oh my gosh. So yeah, they're blocking a lot of paths for me. I need a six connection. However, I can get it. If black shows up, if wild shows up, I need that six connection to make a uh, uh, salt Saint, salt Saint Mary, I guess. Calgary to Winnipeg. I now have to somehow connect these two. It's gonna be tough, but I think I can make the pink up here. And then I think I can make uh, this blue. Oh my God. Let me take another couple blues then. These are gonna be tough. Oh my goodness. So, this is one. Now, if someone were to play this, they could maybe see I'm trying to make this connection because why else would I go up here? They did not block me, so I made all of my connections. Very cool. So, with that said, I made all my connections, but I still have to draw cards and make longer paths. So, you know, what it's gonna come down to is, is me trying to get a longer path. That would mean, you know, I'm not even really paying attention to what the other team's doing. What I can see is that red might wanna connect these two, I don't know. Uh, but I don't know what I'm to do. Uh, blue, blue, sure. White and blue would be what I would focus on then. All right, I'm gonna focus on blue simply because I'm trying to make longer paths. So I now have a four, which could be fine. But, or I could try to go for the blue, the blue, which is which will be six. So let me take a wild and hope they don't play that blue anytime soon. All right, this is great. I'm going for blue. Uh, next turn, I'm gonna play this. Uh... Oh, so close. Here comes my blue. There we go. So that just adds length to my train. I'm gonna try to play the four. Yeah, white's gonna help me out here. Oh man, I'm gonna have to draw a wild next. And see, I'm actually gonna, I'm, I'm actually close to ending the game. Not too close, but close. So this is kind of where I like, do I wanna obstruct pink cause, or purple or whatever? Cause I could probably play something right there to obstruct, but I don't have the parts. So I'm gonna just play what I wanted to play, which was this. This helps my the length of my train. I'm gonna take the blue, I'm gonna try to obstruct. It just depends, because I feel like they're gonna try to make that connection either through orange or blue. So blue's one obstruction, pink's the other one. I can't fully obstruct unless they don't have pink. Oh my gosh, they might try to come up here, but I don't know. Yeah, someone, well, someone blocked. So here's the cool part about this. I can now play, um, uh, 
Well, I'm five away. I could try to make that black. Here, let me just do this. This effectively ends the, the match. They each only have one more turn, and they're kind of, like, especially Jane here is at a huge disadvantage. They're just playing whatever they can to rack up points at this point. I think pink might might be in contention for, like, the longest uh, train, but we'll see. I made my two connections. Uh, only one other person took an extra connection, and right now I'm, I'm leading the score. So we're going to see how the scores go. They didn't make their connection. That's great. So Marge lost. She she missed out on both of her connections. She wasn't able to pull it off. C Hunting Bot did make their connections. And they in fact had three connections, but they missed one, so they lose the points. You lose points for connections you can't make, by the way. Blue okay. So really it's gonna be me and Vanderbot. Vanderbot had a big train. I don't I can't quite tell just by looking at it which one was longer. But they made a connection right there. And they made, uh, they actually pulled off Seattle to New York. Oh my gosh, I had the longest train. Lucky me, I had the longest train, barely. And that puts me in the lead. Almost lost to Vanderbot Jr., the hardest bot. But there we go, uh, there we go, worldwide high score, sure. See it, let's see it. <laughs> what am I like, I can't believe it. Where am I, I, I I'm nowhere, I'm ranked nowhere. So anyway. Uh, so that's the game, Ticket to Ride. I have a lot of fun playing this game, uh, just on my own. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of tabletop games or board games, really. And I'm almost less of a fan. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a fan when they're digitized, but I'm almost less of a fan, like, when they're physical. But when they're digitized, you know, uh, they're fun. Sort of. Sometimes. <laughs> and I happen to have some fun with this one, Ticket to Ride. I, I, again, I can't, I'm not, I can't speak from the perspective of a board game aficionado or anything like that, but I had fun with this game. You can get it on the Epic Game Store. You can get it on, like, the iPad. I have it on both. I played on the Epic Game Store just now. Use code Zach Scott Games if you get it, though. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.